perfect. Okay, there it is mounted. Not the most ideal spot, but super easy to grab still. If we ever have to grab it, just pull it off there. We're ready to jump in the water with it or onto the dinghy. And it's not super in the way. Like we, I never find myself standing right here. That's not gonna be a problem. Um, I'm just worried about maybe a line falling down and snagging the EPER, but I don't think that should be too much of a problem. I know our boat is so dirty. Ugh. The best bet I thought would be like right here, right behind the door, but there's just not enough space. Here's Sierra. She's going to show you what we put in our ditch kit. Hello, everybody. Today we are going to tell you what we keep in our ditch kit. We keep our ditch kit in an easy, accessible place, but somewhere that's still out of the way. It's got some pretty snazzy locking systems. So we keep a set of flares, copies of our passports our boat documentation, and our bank account. Worst case, we're in a different country. We need a way to get home or back to the States. We have that information. Waterproof handheld VHF. You really want one that has replaceable batteries. The one that we had is a rechargeable one and we didn't want to spend money on a new one, but we will eventually just get one that has replaceable batteries because you also want your GPS to be waterproof and battery operated so you can have spare batteries. So those batteries would work with both. A flashlight, first aid kit. In your first aid kit, you wanna make sure you have Dramamine or some kind of motion sickness, seasickness medicine, just so if you do get seasick and start vomiting, you're gonna get dehydrated really fast and it's a way to keep you alive longer and an emergency blanket. If the water's cold or you can use it for shade, as well as bandages, just your typical first aid. A set of tzatziki. You can do whatever kind of fishing setup you want, but this was small and easy. If you need to catch some food, you have a hook and a line. A knife to cut things. These glow sticks, you can crack them and then put them in the water and you can see, or you can just crack them and use them as like another flashlight. Signal mirror in case you see a helicopter during the day or a boat or a plane. Just a way to give your signal. So this is pretty neat. I never really looked at signaling mirrors before, but it's got a, some sort of an adhesive cover on it to protect it. Uh, while it's just in the ditch kit or whatever, but you take that off and it's a mirror and it's got a hole in it So you can actually look through the hole and Spot whatever you're trying to signal and that way you can really line it up and making sure they're getting that that flash of light coming off your mirror directly Directly onto them. It's pretty cool. Sunscreen is very important Especially since we're doing a lot of cruising in the Bahamas and Florida and the East Coast If you're stuck out there for a couple days, you're gonna get fried. So just a little sunscreen waterproof matches We travel with jetty. So we have a little pack of dog food just in case for us We do you could do emergency food like survival foods, but they were really big and we don't have a lot of room So I just grabbed like a bunch of protein bars one thing we have waiting for us when we get to our next stop is packets of emergency water. They come in measured packets that they fit better in here rather than a bottle that would take up a bunch of room. So we have those waiting. For now we just have a five gallon jug of water close by. When I was doing my research, a lot of people said to include a pack of playing cards just to keep you sane. So this kit, the Life Cell trailer boat kit, is designed for more coastal cruising and that's really what we do. Um, the biggest jumps we do is crossing the Gulf Stream from the Bahamas to Florida. If we were to ever cross an ocean, they have bigger models to fit more stuff. But for now, this is the perfect size for us. That's our ditch kit. That's what's in our ditch kit. Like Sierra said, this is a very small version for the coastal cruising and island hopping that we do. Um, if we're going to cross an ocean, we get a much, much bigger, uh, more equipped ditch kit. All this stuff can be bought on Amazon and probably at your local West Marine. I think you got some stuff at West Marine, right? Glow sticks and signaling here. So we'll link to every single thing that we have in this ditch kit and the ditch kit as well uh, in the description below. So for those of you guys who have been following along, you probably see that we filmed most of this video a while ago before we did most of this boat work over the summer. Um, and since then, I've, I've been researching and learning and reading and I have different thoughts on the function of our ditch kit and our e and where it should be mounted. So with this boat and most multi-holes, 
the construction of them are light enough where they're probably not going to sink. This boat especially, it's got foam everywhere. Like, in a lot of empty spaces of the boat, there's foam. And the, the hulls are foam cord. So, even if this boat capsized, even if there are holes through the boat, it's it can't sink. The just the construction is too light for this boat to sink. The design of that life cell and the mounting bracket is super cool in that it will float right off the mount if that boat were to sink. And it's really nice and easy that you can just grab it right off the mount and go. Our worst case scenario is probably that we capsize or that we have a fire on the boat or something like that and we have to actually get off the boat. So if we were to capsize, we don't necessarily want that ditch kit to float off and away from our boat. Same thing with the EPIRB, which is on the ditch kit. I'd probably rather it be in this cabin somewhere, and if we were to capsize, it'd be trapped in this cabin somewhere. And we can talk about like the activation of the EPIRB and all that. We'll probably talk about that in another video. But we're gonna stay with the boat. This is our best chance of rescue if we were to ever capsize, to stay with the boat. And we would want that stuff to stay with the boat as well. Eventually, we'd be able to access wherever we mounted that ditch kit and everything. And then if we had a fire, you know, and we had to get off, that's kind of a conscious decision to get off the boat. But in that scenario, then we could consciously just pull that ditch kit right off the holder and bring it with us wherever we go and the e is attached. So just some different thoughts. I've been thinking about where else to mount it and it's probably either gonna be in this cabin or maybe right in the entranceway of one of the other cabins. Let me know your thoughts down below, um, especially if you have a lot of sailing background and uh, especially if you have multi-hole sailing background. I'm curious what, what you think about that. Also let us know if you think we missed anything in our ditch kit. Just keep in mind that it's completely filled. There's no empty space in it, so if we put something else in there, we have to take something out. Um, so let us know what you think.